We are now over halfway complete with all the Easter eggs in our return to Cold War in preparation for BO6. Last week, we went and fought Legion and stopped Operation Invert CR, whatever. We went and sent some missiles into the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Surely that won't have any effect on anything going on in the next game. And in doing so, we went and made the hardest boss in the game look easy by taking out Legion. And now we have to go against Orta. Now, Orta, I'm not at all concerned with. You guys know my track record against Orta. I might as well be undefeated. I I can't remember the last time I lost against him. The boss fight is not what I'm worried about. It's all the steps leading up to the boss fight. I have not done this Easter egg a whole lot. I think this is probably the Easter egg I've done the least amount of times here in Cold War. And in our return here, I've been trying to do everything from memory, getting everything done without having to look up a guide. And so far, I've been able to do it. And we haven't failed an Easter egg yet. But this might be the one where we break the streak. But hopefully we don't. Knock on wood. Wait, did I just knock on wood to guarantee that we did now i'm confusing myself well, let's not get this confused this early oh there's an omega helicopter oh we're actually tearing it up why even have a helicopter if it can get taken down in less than a mag of a vargo come on omega you can do better than that and i'm also thinking this might be one of if not the last time i play outbreak in this game because i can't imagine after you know playing bo6 when i come back to cold war that i'm gonna be itching to play some outbreak i think it'd be fun to come back and try to fight legion again this easter egg you know i i don't know if i'm gonna come back and fight orda i can do that easily on firebase C or you know fight him on the way to legion by doing like the world event but honestly i'm not the biggest fan of outbreak you know it has some positives here and there but i honestly prefer modern warfare zombies big map zombies over outbreak i think there could be a nice little combination of the two modes to make it even better but i just kind of got bored with this mode it's really good for leveling up weapons and you know the the easter eggs and stuff are cool but besides that don't really care for it i think it would make it a lot more fun if you could actually like queue in with like a big group of people i think the max you can have is like four it would be sweet if we could get up to like 10 people oh we got shatter blast i'll be taking that give me that armor and a free full power. And just like the Legion Easter egg, we can't even start doing steps to get it started until we reach Outbreak Region 3. And I'm honestly debating going ahead and shooting our anomaly as we're, we're activating it so we can just skip all the way to Region 3. Because I'm not scared of Orta at all. I think we're going to fly right through that boss. But I am scared that we won't be up to par with uh, the kind of damage we need to be doing for Outbreak Tier 4. Because it scales pretty fast here. It almost feels like you need pack a punch one in tier one. Pack two once you make it to region two. And then pack three, once you make it to tier three or, or region three, it feels like it's almost a necessity. At least for like the elites, the zombies, I feel like we could take care of. But I'll make my decision on that once uh, we see how set up we are at the end of this first region. Now go ahead and give me a chalice. Thank you. Oh, is that the M79 I see? That could be a nice secondary. If we can stick the landing on this crystal event here and actually knock them all out, we're going to be in a really good position. We can get our weapon all the way up to legendary for free. So death perception is going to have to carry me through this. Let me make sure I'm grabbing all the ones upstairs before we go down. I think we're good on that front. Uh, we got to get this. There's one right in here. And another one. Oh, we got them all. Let's go. Give me that. And now we got our weapon to legendary. That's beautiful. Didn't have to spend a single piece of salvage. And let's go ahead and get this main event over with. There we go. Bye bye, Mr. Rocket. Let's activate the anomaly. And let's take inventory here. We got 18,000 points. Make that 18,420 points weed. Well, let's go ahead and upgrade our armor first and foremost. Then we get pack two. And we have 3,000 left. Can I afford any perks? I can, but only one. Let's go with Jug. I think that's all we can do. Let's hit warp. Let's break this. And hopefully I don't regret that decision. Because that could get real bad for me real fast. Oh no. We get the pleasure of going to Armada. I cannot escape this map in Outbreak. And I'm spawning in a boat. Awesome. How's our damage looking? Okay, we can still kill zombies. We're all right. Elites also going down. Okay, we're fine. We just need to try to keep the perks that we got and get a few more. I'm a little nervous with how cramped this map is. Like, this is probably the worst map we could have gotten for trying to stay alive. But on the bright side, it shouldn't be too hard to find all of our red portals that we need to start up this Easter egg. There ain't a whole lot of places to look. Let's start up our HVT contract or whatever the hell they're called in this. Let's see if we can take it out. Oh, it's a Panzer. All right. Your Tesla storms. Oh, you're actually getting melted. Why even try? Give me that free perk. Ooh, oh, tombstone. Literally anything else would have been better, but at least I don't got to spend money on it. Oh, I guess 
I actually do have to spend money on it. Perks go up with every one that you get, regardless if you bought it or not. So that just made our next perk more expensive. Thanks, Tombstone. Oh, of course. They're going to drop Jug out of a crystal after I already get it. What's next, game? What other ways can you tease me? Oh, speed call. Okay. It taketh and it giveth away or whatever. Let's get this event going. Whoa, there's an abomination here. What's up, little guy? Are you just a little baby? You're so tiny. And you're so dead. Abominations don't even seem like a threat anymore. I, I feel like I'm going to eat my words when I go and play on Forsaken again, but they do not feel like they do anything to me now. They're now under six feet. Oh, and another Aether tool. I guess we can go ahead and throw that on our M79. Probably a waste since we had it on green, but it's whatever. Oh, we got our fishing buddy right here. You know what? Let's see if we get lucky. Let's gamble a little bit. Stop throwing your meat at me, zombies. I ain't in the mood. I'm trying to fish here. And we got a boot. That's going to be a mimic, isn't it? Yep. What the hell is a mimic doing in the ocean, disguising itself as a boot? That is such a, a long haul play. So that mimic knows about fishing then, right? That mimic knows more than it's letting on. I think this is our last chance to get anything from this. Come on. Help me out. <gasps> oh, just essence. And now for maybe the most dangerous contract in this game, oh, yeah. the black so chest event on Armada. We do not have a whole lot of room here to defend ourselves. So I want to try to take these orbs out as fast as possible. And first orb should be down pretty soon. There we go. Second orb. Let's get it done. There we go. Got it before it can even get to me. We do the same thing with this. Come on. Yes, let's go. What a clean run. Oh, and some level two armor. Not that we need it, but uh, a nice chalice on this. Should be a nice backup weapon. All right, main event time. They're playing some like Star Wars Battle for Endor type music right now. And I'm with it. The music in this game is great. And this should be one essence thing filled. Give me my reward for it. Oh, just some essence. I guess that's fine. And we should be all done. And more essence. What the hell? Not gonna give me anything good. And I think I know where the first portal is that we need to go through. While I was doing the black chest event, I heard what sounded like a radio nearby, but no captions were showing up. I'm pretty sure it's underneath this boat. Oh yeah, there it is. Let's uh, go into the deep depths of hell. And hopefully we can actually make this work. Rabinaw's trying to contact us. Oh, uh, we need to go to this portal. Is this all underwater for this one? Because normally it just sends us through the air and we need to fly through all the portals. But if this one's all underwater, they're actually doing us a great service. Because I was so scared of missing one of these portals and having to restart. What do you got for me, Rabinoff? Besides Thalassophobia, I do not like being down here. How many portals we got to go through? This has got to be it, right? Yep, there we go. Let's not lose where that went. How do I get up there? Got to hop over onto this. And we should be able to grab it. Gimme. I guess that's a lot better than us uh, resetting a hundred different radios to the same signal. Now we can activate this anomaly. We can't pack a punch, right? It's 30,000. Yeah, we're too broke. But we can get stamina up and mule kick and elemental and apply for a loan if we want anything else. Now let's see what rabinoff has got to say. Hopefully my device was not too difficult to acquire. Oh, it was very difficult. You know how much swimming I had to do? How do you even set that up, rabinoff You know more than you're letting on. Have your team head to the area near the sanatorium. I will tell you more then. All right, we gotta go to the sanatorium. Ooh, but it's sanatorium at night. I think the hard part of setting the Easter egg up is over with. Pretty sure we gotta go find uh, a downed chopper. I was contacted by scientists who wish to defect to Requiem. We arranged a rendezvous nearby. They never arrived. I fear their helicopter was shot from the sky. Oh, yeah, Rabinaw is telling us. Don't let my dumbass tell the story. Once they're secure, we'll radio Raptor 1 for extraction. You got it, Weaver. Wait, is this the helicopter they were talking about? I, I don't think they made it. We need to know if there are any survivors. Yeah, there, there might be a few survivors here. I'm sure they're all fine. Just uh, a little well done. And by a little, I mean very well done. Let's see what this guy had to say. Hello? Scheiße. Ravenov, it is Dr. Hugo Jaeger. I hope either you or Requiem find this recording. Most of us survived the crash. We're headed to Monument Island. I hope we'll be safe from Omega. Before you ask, yeah, that is on the other side of the phase, but... I was gonna ask. The scientists are in this. They have created something incredible. A device that will allow us to travel through the phase without dying. Or worse, they only have one prototype, but... 
They are assembling another from spare parts so you can follow us. Unfortunately, we are missing a component and a serial orb. Find one and bring it to the bridge. There will be a slightly modified recon rover waiting for you. Please hurry. Omega shot us down. They will not leave the job unfinished. I don't know how they didn't think this was a setup the whole time with a body conveniently hanging out of the helicopter. You know, that, that could have just happened. But he had time to sit here and make a recording after the crash and just place it conveniently in that dude's hand like who are we fooling here is requiem really this dumb i'm just gonna go ahead and knock out these events here just to make sure we're as set up as we can possibly be there's also an ethereal orb up there i should probably uh keep track of where that is but honestly so far i've not really had any problems i should probably skip the the first three rounds in outbreak more often the only thing that was somewhat giving me troubles is just the armor on manglers but once that's broken they just go down super easy and why do they just got a helicopter sitting over here come on this don't even make sense with the story. They already know we're supposed to be over here looking for the other helicopter they shot down. Why are they, they bringing another one in here for us to take down? They're letting us get even? Now, let's have a real conversation here for a second. You guys, or at least most of you, have seen Sanatorium here during the day. Does literally shifting it to night make that big of a difference for you? Because honestly, I don't care for the map either way. I don't think the lighting makes that much of a difference. I see a lot of people saying Liberty Falls would be so much better if the sky was purple. I feel like it doesn't change the map that much. Now let's see if I remember what to do here. I'm pretty sure I got to shoot this towards the bridge. Shoot orb, it goes to rover. Seems simple enough. Yeah, that's we'll what I'm see. saying. These orbs tend to go wherever they want. Not sure how we force it to go anywhere. This one looks a little different though. Oh, not a demented echo. No, God, it touched me. Cocksucker. They should honestly have more of those if they do more open world zombie stuff. I want to be scared. That's where I get for being a little loot goblin. Now, where'd that ethereal orb go? I was not paying attention. I see light over here. Is it in the building? Nope. That's just a chest. Well, since we're here. Oh, the DIE. You can stay right there. I don't need you. There you are. Let's make sure we're behind it and we shoot it into the right direction. There we go. And we can follow its little fart trail. It's skid mark through the air. Where you at now? I see the flashing. Can I shoot it from here or is it upstairs? Oh, it's upstairs. Let's take a few shots at it. Are you moving? Are you winning, son? Am I even hitting it? I think so. And where'd the little rascal go? Don't look like it went to the bridge. Or did it? Nope, it didn't. Oh, it's right over here. Why are you hiding? Why are you running? Keep it moving, buddy. No loitering. Now it should make its way over to the bridge, but... We're not done right there. Oh, and neither is it. It's got to stop over top of the statue. Keep moving. We got it where it needs to be. But the fucker won't get in. Maybe we must find something it wants. It laughs like a child, yes? Maybe toy. Good thinking, Rabinov. Let's give the big ball from another dimension a toy to play with. Now we just got to find out where that toy could be. I'm pretty sure it spawns on one of the box spawns, but the box is going to be broken where we find it at. Also, I see a glowing light over here and I need to go to it. I'm like a moth to a flame. Was it worth it? Let me work it. Nope. Oh, we can fish. Please don't kill me, zombie. I'm fishing. You're really messing up the mojo over here. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. We do not need to go down by fishing. Now I can enjoy the water in peace. Oh, a Semtex. Nice. Give me something good. Come on. This is our last cast of the day. We can't go home empty-handed. We will. The game said, fuck what you thought. Now, if I was a broken mystery box, where would I be? Is this it? You're better off there. Nope, that's just a normal Mr. Peaks. You fooled me, you dirty dog. This is definitely not it. That's just the box. What the fuck is that? Okay, I just went away. Awesome. Play some creepy ass noise and don't explain it. I've just been wandering around this map for I don't even know how long. I wish I would have memorized all the box spawns. Where's this fucking bunny at? Elmer Fudd be like? Why is the hardest step of this Easter egg leaving me alone to find something? This is torture. I bet Weaver's just, you know, sitting back, kicking it at the office, watching my GoPro, see me run around this entire map struggling. Why don't you, you tap into a satellite and tell me where this thing is? Useless one-eyed bastard. I could easily just look up where the location is, but I don't want that to be the one step that I have to look up this entire time we come back to Cold War. I've been a good boy so far. I haven't had to look up anything, but this is, is pushing me to my limit. Where are you? Is this it? Did I walk right past this? Oh, well, at least I found you. Come here, Mr. Peaks. Why, why are they calling you Aether Bunny? Did you not have a name yet? But he looks so cool. Honestly, 
in, in the whole new zombie storyline, I think Mr. Peaks is one of the cooler designs. One of the one of the better changes. You know, the classic teddy bear is iconic and everything, but it's just a teddy bear. This is something like Don't unique. Try. And he's blue. But like, what is Mr. Peaks? Is it just like a a fallen soul, a child that got sent into the dark aether, or are you just like a chill dude that wanted to be a rabbit? Yeah, no. You're a furry. Oh, give me that. Better than stuff bear I had as a child. It was. Uh... Both legs. Well, it, that's real nice, Rabinov. This one is literally possessed by a demon and is like gory for whatever reason. But what's really cool about this is if we use this Aether Bunny surprise as our field upgrade, it just looks beautiful. A bunch of little butterflies come out and everything. It's a great little effect. And I wish we saw more of it besides just this one walk between where the mystery box is broken and to our Aether reactor or escort mission rover, whatever. <laughs> and speaking sweet nothings into my ear the whole time. Now, before we go ahead and throw them in here, do we have everything we need? We got phone, wallet, keys, Audemars Piguet. I think we're all right. Go ahead and get in there. Enjoy your stay. Orb, join them. Or are you gonna stay up there? Nope, you're gonna go in. Another audio recording conveniently. How did Jaeger leave this with a ethereal orb? This doesn't even make sense. Yeah, 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 blah, 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 Jaeger. Look at my cool gun. Yeah, you bet you wish your gun could do this. Ooh, that looks like me trying to get my nuts unstuck from my leg. The eagerly ahead to our rival. Too long have we been silent about Omega's atrocities. There is much for us to discuss. Soon, we will change the world. He's lying out of his ass. But well, we're going to go anyways. Let's get to moving. And I've said this a hundred times. I'm going to say it a hundred more. I think the Dark Aether in the Dark Aether storyline is very, very underused. It's really cool that we get to come in here and, you know, I was shitting on Outbreak enough, but I gotta give it props where it's due. Actually being able to walk through the Aether here, even if it's with an escort, is pretty sick. Like, I just love the design of these jellyfish going everywhere and all the crystals in, in the little glowing grass. And I was, I was saying earlier how, you know, a skybox don't really change a whole lot for me in the game. But stuff like this does. Like, I feel like this would make a huge difference on a map. It gives it, uh, you know, more of an atmosphere besides just changing it to nighttime. Why are we not moving? Oh, because a Tempest has to be a dick. You only exist to piss me off. You do nothing. I got to keep my eyes out for Tempest because I don't want to have to sit here and wait for this shit to reboot every time. What is that? Oh, big jellyfish. Big daddy. SpongeBob butt nut in his square pants seeing that. What's up, big fella? That's so sick. And I said this in our last Easter egg video, but it's such a shame that we don't get to see a whole lot of these maps outside of Outbreak. So I put in a lot of time into actually making a lot of these. And we only really get to see them in small glimpses. And most of them got some pretty cool areas to them. Like if I never played that little bit of fire team that I did and I've never done this Easter egg, I would never see this monument. But this had to have taken someone a long time to design. And it's the only time we see it. But what do we got going on over here? Where are you at, Jaeger? <gasps> Oh. Fuck, Weaver. We are too late. They are dead. They are? No, we... we there's got to be something we can do. Come on. Live! All right, well, good thing I left this. Right. So glad you could make it. Wait a minute. Enjoying my handiwork? This Jaeger guy is bad news. Soon, we will change the world, Requiem. Auf Wiedersehen. Wait Get a minute, I know that it's sound. A goddamn trap. That's the sound that attracts zombies. We gotta get out of here! Raptor 1, save us! As much shit as I give this boss fight for being easy, it looks sick. I look at Raptor 1 come flying in. Oh, let's go get to the, the landing zone. Let's get out of here. Oh, here comes Orda, you big fat bitch. He's gonna be damageable in about a second. I wanna see how long it actually takes for us to kill him. So right now, start that timer. Probably at like 4 minutes 50 seconds. How long does it take for this dude to go down? Come on. We can get them in less than a minute. Maybe. We are kind of piecing them up. Oh yeah, there you go. Scream. Spawn in more zombies. See if that helps. It would have been really funny if this set the precedent or precedent for them to just add in the same boss and change color like the worms. Like what if we got like orange Orda right here? But he's gone. Less than a minute. You tried your best, buddy. But your best is never enough. Stop trying. Now we can get out of here safely. I can't wait to go home, Raptor 1. Okay, strike team. I'm glad we're Time making out of this. Just me and you. I really hope a rocket don't- No! Shit, we're going down! Sadly, we 
<laughs> I love how Kravchenko is just like, yes, I've been waiting on your radio line. Now that you've gotten shot down, is my time to talk shit. Now we got all of his Omega goonies coming in, stealing Raptor 1. Like, I get we got, like, guns drawn on us, but... Why don't we fight back here? Why don't I just pop my Tesla Surrender. Storm and start going to town on him? With my fists, not my mouth. You will be allowed to. Obviously. You dirty dog. But well, we did it! We made it through! 11... Oh, hold on. 111,000 score. 1,036 kills. 388 crits. And no revives and no downs. That's back-to-back -back flawless Easter eggs. All from right up here. No guides. No looking at nothing. And it's to be continued into Maurer de Toten, I think. Yeah, Maurer.